Ladies and gentlemen, Major General Robert E. Newman, Jr., Adjutant General of Virginia. Secretary Marshall, General Officers and Leaders of the Virginia Army National Guard, families and friends, and soldiers of 276. The ceremony that we're attending today is not unlike others that have gone before. Throughout the history of our country, we have gathered as uh, friends and families to say goodbye to brave men and women who have gone in harm's way to do the nation's bidding. Today is, is just such a day. You know, ladies and gentlemen, I stop and I, and I recognize that each one of these guys sitting ahead of the seated ahead of me today is a volunteer. They weren't conscripted, weren't for, forced to join. They raised their right hand and voluntarily accepted a challenge that, uh, in today's world, is pushed away by most of our fellow citizens. So we share a great pride in the task that ahead of the uh, 276 engineers that they have willingly accepted to do the nation's good. So my thanks to you great soldiers for volunteering to go in harm's way, but others that know that will take someone else. You can take pride in that, and I know that your families and friends and your fellow guards will stay behind and take pride in your service too. It doesn't matter whether you're standing post uh, in Hampton Roads, guarding streets after a hurricane hits, or whether you're standing a post in Afghanistan defending our nation. You're still Virginia Guardsmen, you're the best we have to offer. And I'm truly proud to be the Adjutant General and to command each one of you. My best wishes to you as you depart, my promise is this. Your leadership is well trained, they will train you well and shelter to do the mission overseas. We'll do all we can to protect and defend your families back here at home. And we'll do all we can to support you in your mission overseas. Godspeed to each and every one of you. My personal thanks to each of you for being Virginia Guardsmen. I wish you Godspeed 